So we're going to start as usual in mountain pose. So feet parallel to each other, right under your hip bones. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders all stacked up. Kind of spread out your toes. You can lift them, get the base of the toes connected all the way across, as well as your heels. And then keep lifting through the arches as you put your toes back down and spread them out. Sitting bones toward the floor, ribs, bottom ribs in and up so your core is active and supporting your spine. And then just breathe deep. Exhale tension and draw your focus inward. Let your arms relax and let your spine stretch open. So sitting bones one way and crown the other. And just take a moment to get your yoga perspective, that inward focus. Just close your eyes, draw your awareness inward. And remember that yoga is a personal practice. That means what's right for your body is what you do. If it feels wrong, then just either minimize or stop for a moment and take a break. We'll probably do about a half hour, including a brief relaxation at the end. If you want to relax longer at the end, just ignore me when I tell you to get up and you can just stay relaxing for a few minutes more or as long as your schedule allows. So keep the lengthening going through your spine. We're going to warm up just a little bit. So inhale, bringing your arms straight out at shoulder level. Keep the fingertips going out and the head going up. Exhale, bringing your hands to your heart, bending your elbows. And stretch your arms forward as you inhale. And then as you exhale again, bring your hands behind, clasp your fingertips, lift your heart as you breathe in. And pivot over at the hips as you exhale. Bring your hand, head down toward your legs and your hands up toward the ceiling. Just as high as your body wants to go. Remember, personal practice, your body decides how far you move into any position. So a few breaths here, lifting the sitting bones to get the back of the legs getting a little stretch. Hands coming toward your head for a little shoulder warm up. And then as you inhale, tuck in your chin, drop your sitting bones, lift your ribs, and wind your spine back all the way up. Chest toward the ceiling and head back as you drop your hands toward the floor, letting that shoulder area get a good opening. So keep breathing and lengthening. And then inhale to the top. Exhale, release your arms. And take a moment to feel your spine getting a little bit more energized and with circulation starting to flow a little bit more. Keep spreading through your toes. Keep lengthening through your spine. And we're going to do the same thing again. So inhaling, reach the arms out at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back just a little. Stretch way out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then as you exhale, bring the hands behind you, clasp the fingers the opposite way. So shift over one position with your fingers. And then again, head up or head back and chest up and pivot at the hips coming all the way over. Again, you can keep your knees a little bent as you get into your forward bend, or you can straighten them as much as you want for that hamstring stretch along the back of your leg. Keep breathing. Tuck in your chin a little so the back of the neck gets a little bit of a stretch while you're in your forward bend. And then with the knees a little bent, chin in. Again, slowly wind your way back all the way to standing. And heart high, head back for that upper body opening. Again, breathe, lifting the heart, stretching the spine. And then inhale to the top. Exhale and release. And again, taking a moment, just focus inward, feeling your body. Now, always keeping everything even on both sides. We're going to stretch side to side. So inhaling, bring your arms out to shoulder level again. This time, turn your palms up and bring your arms right above your shoulders. Now, 
You can look up and pass your hands past each other and then turn around and clasp the palms together. It's mental yoga in addition to physical. Bring your arms back by your ears. And again, stretch up through your head, up through the hands, down into your feet. And without twisting, lean over to the side. So make sure that the top shoulder is pulling back to maybe just a smidge so that you're not going into that forward twist. And then as you get to the side, as far as you'd like to go, if you push your foot a little deeper into the mat, it'll feel like that side stretches even more and opens the ribs up for a little easier breathing on that side. And then inhale back to the center. We're going to switch the other hand in front. And again, just balancing the body, doing things evenly on both sides. Arms by your ears and lean to the other side, no twisting. Stretch out through your head, through your hands, down into that foot. See if you can breathe into the ribs as they stretch apart on that side you're leaning away from. And lengthen through your whole spine, through your neck, out through the top of your head. And then inhaling, come back to the center. Release your arms back to your side into mountain pose. Take a moment to feel centered and grounded, observing how that spine moving sideways in that lateral motion feels. And again, a deep breath, relaxing down into your feet, up through your spine. Inhale the arms once more to shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling and over your shoulders. This time we're going to clasp the elbows. Once more, pulling the arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, stretch your spine way apart so it's got room to twist, and then keeping the feet where they are evenly weighted and the knees maybe a little bent, exhale and twist toward either side. So your whole body turns and moves. Lengthen up from the feet through the elbows and exhale in the twist into a forward bend. As you do that, See if you can keep the weight on both evenly. And again, just deepen as far as your body wants to go, noticing that this may feel different from when you were in the forward bend in the straight position. And then staying in your twist, inhale your weight slowly to the top. Pull your elbows back, look toward the ceiling, and shoulder blades, sitting bones down toward the mat as you lift your heart. So be gentle on your lower back, making sure that you're not overworking it when it's twisted. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center. And again, switch your arms around so things even out. Shoulder blades down, elbows up, and stretch your spine. Exhale and twist the opposite direction. And again, with the lengthening, breathe in. And as you exhale, pivot on over, coming into your twist forward bend on the opposite side. Again, see if you can switch your weight of your body into both feet evenly. And just relax into your twist forward bend as far as you want to go. And when you're ready, on an inhalation, come up in the twist, staying in the twist as you look overhead and pull your elbows back. Again, focus on that chest, upper body area, not your lower back as you go into that back bend. And then inhale straight up, exhale back to the center. Keep your shoulders down as you bring your arms back straight above and next to your ears. We're going to exhale and pivot at the hips. Keep your arms by your ears and bring your body as parallel toward the floor as you can. Stretch your hips, sitting bones back, your crown and your fingertips forward, and then just collapse into ragdoll, exhaling, arms hanging as far toward the mat as they want to go. Tuck in your chin. If you want extra stretch through that low back, you can pull your hands behind your legs and pull in a little deeper, but only if you want to. And then as you exhale, bring the arms back to the center in the front. Once more, knees bent, weight on both feet evenly. Slowly work your way up with your chin in all the way to the top. See if you can feel those bones unwind 
heart toward the ceiling, and again, just open your palms to the front as you look up, and inhale back into Mountain Pose. Take a moment standing there just to close your eyes, feel that grounded connection to the earth, and breathe. So we're gonna do a couple gentle heart openers just to allow the upper body to get a little bit more open before we start into anything more complex. So we're gonna take the heel of the palm, put it right about your lower ribs in the back and the fingertips down toward your sacrum. Pull your elbows toward each other behind you. Keep your hips right over your ankles and then rotate your face and look up and lift your heart center, that middle of your upper chest toward the ceiling as you pull the top of your head back behind you. And just gently pressing in with your hands onto the sides of your back as you rotate those elbows toward each other. Now, if the elbows don't wanna go anywhere near each other, what you can do if you want to is put a tie or a belt or a strap around your upper arms and kind of pull it a little bit tighter so those elbows start rotating toward each other a little bit, getting that shoulder opening. And then inhaling, come back upright. Exhale, release your arms back to mountain pose. And just take a moment to feel that energy, especially across the heart center, especially across the shoulders and through your spine. Again, take a breath, lengthening up. Breathe and sink down into the earth evenly. Now, if you have a wall near you, you can go to the wall. If not, if you have a chair near you, you can use the chair. And we're going to do a little bit of a stretch. And we're going to use the chair later if you have one near you. Otherwise, you can sit on the floor for what we'll do. So. With the chair, you're just gonna put your hands on the back of the chair and take a step back and sink through your chest and your shoulders, bringing your ears down along your arms so that you're sinking through that heart center. If you don't have the chair, but you do have a wall, then the hands go right in front of your shoulders on the wall. And again, a step back, a chest dropping, and the arms come, ears coming next to the arms with the crown going toward your hands on the wall as the sitting bones go back behind you so that you're dropping into that upper chest, opening through the armpits and through the upper body. So take a few breaths as you drop that chest further, further, further into that position, whether you're at the wall or you're on the back of your chair. So again, take a breath, let that chest drop maybe a little bit more. Keep the sitting bones reaching back, the crown reaching toward your hands. And then when you're ready to release, tuck in your chin, bend your knees a little bit, and whether you're at the wall or the chair, just walk closer to that surface and relax your arms at your side, back in mountain pose. Now, we're going to do a heart opener and a balance practice. If you have the chair, you can put the chair right next to you, and you can put your hand on the back of the chair if that's more safe feeling for you. If you don't have a chair, you can stand with your side next to the wall but not touching. And if you're comfortable just on your mat, that's fine. Or if you've got a cushiony mat or the floor is too cushiony under you, you can step off the mat and get a little bit more sturdy surface under you. Get the outside of the foot near the chair or the wall or the side of your mat parallel so that you're kind of rolling that whole leg in so that you're stacking the bones for good support for your balance practice. Pick up the toes. Get the base of the toes really connected. And then as you spread your toes out and put them back down on the mat, get the big toe really connected, but don't crunch any of the toes into the mat or the floor beneath you because that lifts the base of the toes, gives you less surface connection, and you want as much surface on that leg as you can have. 
stack ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. Again, just like in mountain pose, and sink into your rounded foot. For a warm up, we're just going to barely move the, the other leg. So if you want to keep your hand on the chair, that's perfectly okay, but don't grip with it. Or just let your arm hang at your side. Keep the toes down if you feel balance challenged. Make sure you're spreading the weight through the base of the toes and the heel. And then if you want, you can pick up your leg further toward the chest. So wherever your leg is, kind of roll it inward so that those hips are parallel to each other and you've got a better base of support. If your leg is up or even if it's down, we're going to just move that ankle around on that suspended leg, allowing yourself to get a little bit more mobility in the ankle. Flex and point. And put it back down. Feel the grounded connection and shift the chair to the other side. Once more, as you get that foot parallel to the chair on the opposite side, we're going to do the same grounding. So once more, toes up, base of the toes down. Keep lifting the arch as you put the toes down. Don't grip with the toes. Stack everything, ankle, knee, and hip, so that everything is rotating a little bit toward the front so you're making sure your bones stack for support. Shoulders down, ribs in and up, getting that core activated as usual in mountain pose. Hand on the chair or next to it, whichever works for you. And again, just bringing the toes up a little. You can keep them connected to the floor if that's more stable for you. You can lift it just a little, or if you want a little bit more hip action, you can bring that knee up. And again, working through that ankle with some circles and flexing and pointing. And when you're ready, exhale slowly down. Get back into your connection with the floor. Take a few breaths to calm and reconnect into that surface beneath you. So we're going to bring that chair back to the first side if you're using the chair. You never have to use the chair if you don't think that's something necessary for you. We're going to sink into that same foot. We're going to establish that connection just evenly all the way up through the crown. And then if you're using the chair, you can keep your hand down. Otherwise, bring that arm up. So we're lengthening through the side that's connected to the floor. The other hand is going to move out, palm toward the front. So you're rotating from the shoulder, opening the shoulder. And then sink into your grounded foot and bring your foot up and hold the inside of the arch and bring the foot, uh, the knee back next to the other knee. Stay here if that's enough for you. Keep both shoulders facing the front, both hips facing the front. If you want to go further into dancer, push your foot back and bring your hand slightly forward pivoting at this hip joint, not your waist. So chest forward, leading with the heart. And then inhaling, bring the knees back together. Exhale the foot to the floor and the arm back to your side. Feel the heart opening across your upper body and the connection down into the earth. Take a moment and breathe. And bring the chair to the other side if you're using your chair. Once more, line everything up for our second side so we balance the body. <clears throat> and allow yourself to get centered and grounded. Stack everything up. Again, you can keep the hand on the chair if you're more comfortable with your balance that way. Or bring that arm up to the ceiling right over your shoulder. Opposite arm comes out to the side, palm open. And once more, rolling that upper leg in so that whole side of your body is straight. Release that foot and bring it up into your hand. Knees toward each other. Stay there. Or again, hips and shoulders toward the front. Push the foot behind you back a little. Pivot at that hip joint, bringing the front arm a little counterbalancing forward. Chest open, 
feel that heart center as your focus. And again, inhaling up, release the foot and your hand back into mountain pose. Take a moment and just breathe. And if that was a challenge for you, we're gonna have a little break and sit in our chair if you've got the chair. So allow yourself to sit with your back just against the bottom of the chair. If you don't have a chair, just go ahead and sit on the floor in staff position. So heels out, toes pulling back, sitting bones connected, body straight, whether you're in the chair or whether you're on the floor. So hips and shoulders line up as the head reaches toward the ceiling. We're gonna take your hands and bring them behind you and clasp the fingers together just like we did when we were standing up and then push those hands down toward the floor as you roll your face toward the ceiling and your head back. If you're in the chair, it's the same position. You've got your feet hip width apart, your hands behind you, the bottom of your back just at the base of the chair back and then pull your whole body onto the chair back as you push your hands toward the floor and again head toward the wall behind you chin just a little bit toward your chest so you're not crunching your back of your neck too much and then inhaling sit back up and bring your hands back to your thighs in upright position so again, take a moment to feel that expansion across your shoulders, across the heart center. Take a moment to breathe, connect into your sitting bones, whether you're in the chair or on the floor. So once more, focusing inward, we're gonna balance the body and clasp the hands the opposite way as we do exactly the same thing. So bring your hands behind you, clasp those fingers that shifted over position and push the knuckles toward the floor as you either pull your back onto the chair and look up, bringing your chin back slightly toward your chest and maximize that heart opening. Or if you're on the floor, same thing, allowing your hands to come toward the floor as you keep lifting, lifting, lifting through that heart and chest all the way, expanding through the front of your body. Chin a little toward your chest, and then bring it all the way back to your heart, and arms back to the front, onto your thighs, if you're seated on the floor or in the chair. Just take a moment to center into those sitting bones, exhaling and relaxing. And then if you've been using your chair, move it out of the way. And if you haven't, bring yourself to your knees. So we're coming down to the mat, sitting back on your heels in a kneeling position. If this is uncomfortable, you can put padding under your ankles, a blanket or a pad, or you can fold up your mat a couple of times for that, or you can tuck your toes under so that the heels are up. Either way is perfectly good. And again, if your knees or thighs, quads are feeling too stretched and tight, you can put some padding between your calves and thighs or between your heels and your hips. So just make yourself comfortable. Remember, personal practice, doing what's right for you and your body. So we're gonna do something very similar to what we just did continuing that heart opening one more time. So bring your hands behind you, and again, palms together, and push them toward the, the knuckles toward the floor. So feel the opening across your heart, and then tuck your chin toward your chest. Bring your hands up, 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 as you bring your forehead down, down, down toward the floor, and the hands up toward the ceiling, coming into a forward bend. So just collapse into that position or fo focus into that position as much as your body wants. Bring your hands as high as they want to go and relax through your shoulders. 
and then chin in still, sitting back up, lowering those arms till the hands move toward the floor. And release. Take a moment, feel that expansion across the chest and upper back, and breathe. And of course, we're going to do that one more time to balance the body. And this time, of course, that clasp the opposite way. So bring your hands behind, clasp with the other finger on the outside, push the hands down toward the floor, expand up through the heart, and again, as you exhale, pivot forward. I'm going to turn to the side in case you're curious what exactly that looks from the side. So you're expanding, opening the chest first, and then you're exhaling and pivoting forehead down as those arms come up, chin tucks in, hands rise toward the ceiling, toward your head. And again, just take a moment and breathe there. And then on an inhalation, slowly work your way back up to your seated position, releasing your hands and allowing them to come to your thighs. And then we're going to slide off the heels and bring the feet back out to the center. We're going to do a brief twist and then we're going to go into our relaxation. So take one leg and bend the knee, pull that knee in close to your heart and wrap both arms around it, pulling it in. So shoulders and shoulder blades down, sitting bones connected, reach your crown up toward the ceiling. And then the arm that is on the side opposite your knee is going to stay connected to your knee. So opposite arm around your knee. And the arm that's on your knee side comes straight out to the front, deepen into your sitting bones up through the crown. And then as you exhale, turn, following that hand around toward the wall behind you. Bring the hand down close to you on the mat. Pull in with the arm on the knee and stretch up through your spine. And then exhaling, turn your whole body, hips, ribs, shoulder, not just your neck, a little further as you exhale. So like with any twist, keep stretching through the spine so the bones have room to move into your spine. With each exhalation, just relax, letting the ligaments release and deepening into your twist. And then bring the hand behind you back to shoulder level. And again, follow it around as you exhale back to the center and release. And once more, sitting bones connected. Pull that opposite knee in. Allow yourself to sink down into that surface. Wrap your arms around. Opposite arm to the knee. Hand out and follow around into your twist. Bring that hand down close to your body on the mat. Pull the knee in, stretch up from the sitting bones through the crown, and exhale into your twist. Take a breath, exhale, and maximize for your body as much as you want, turning everything into the twist. Then again, bring your arm up, exhale it around to the center, release your hands and your leg into staff. Take a moment, focusing on that energy moving through your spine, up into the middle of your skull, getting you ready for that meditative relaxation, and go ahead and roll down onto your mat. So just allow your body, to sink onto the floor, onto that surface beneath you. Kind of move your hips around, letting your sacrum sink into the mat. Pull the shoulders and shoulder blades down into the floor, keeping that nice heart opening through your upper body. Hands, palms up, slightly away from your sides, toes towards the ceiling, and just then exhale and let your body sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths in, exhaling any tightness. And just allow your whole body to release and relax.
deepening into that earthbound connection, just allowing Mother Earth to support you as she does every day. And as you focus into each part of your body, just let all the tension go wherever you might still have tightness in your muscles. Let your belly breathe deep, all the way diaphragm moving toward your navel, toward your hips, letting that air expand into your lower lungs. And as you exhale, just let your body go. And as your body grows heavy into that earthbound connection, just allow the breath to continue deepening as you let awareness of your body release from your eyes. And as you breathe and relax, other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift out as easily as they drift in. And with each breath, deepen into that inner awareness of that point of peace within. And let that peace grow in your body, filling your mind, becoming a being of peace. And of course, if you want to stay relaxing longer, feel free to do that. If you're ready to release for the rest of your day, press your lower back down. Give yourself a good stretch through your limbs and pull your knees toward your heart, wrapping your arms around. Give yourself a good appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its work this morning and every day for the work it does for you. And when you're ready to release, roll over to the side and sit back up. And thanks for joining me this morning.